the viewpoint. I'm Jackie Nikki Onassis. I'm not related to Jackie Kennedy Onassis. So today... Hey, on... I, and I'm Joey, okay? Yes, she's Joey. So today, on today's show, we're going to talk about tips on dating. Yeah, that'll be good. I think that'll be a good subject to talk about. Yes, yes, definitely. I recently had a date, and um, I'm going to tell you right now, I, uh, the first tip, okay, don't talk about your ex. Oh, God, no, no, don't you go there. Don't talk about your ex, especially on a first date. If you want a second date, never, never, never talk you about your You know, it's so ex. important what she's saying. No, it's the first date. Don't be talking about your ex. Do not talk about your ex, and don't ask us to talk about our exes. That is a no-no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Don't talk about your ex. Um, second thing is, um, don't talk about the future. Don't be talking about no love and marriage. No, no, child. She does not want to hear about love and marriage on the very first night. That will send your date flying out of the room. You know, it's uh, good to talk about what you're about to eat. Okay, yes, that's good, that's good. You can talk about the menu, but don't talk about falling in love and getting no. married and, oh, God. and, and children. Um, you know, you got to make it kind of light and fun. Make it have some comedy involved, you know. You got to have a sense of humor. I don't know. Man, it's, it's so important that, that you just keep it light. Don't ask us if you think the date is going well. That's just stupid. So, um, the other thing is, don't expect that even nowadays that we're going to uh, go Dutch. A date is a date. You pay. Yeah, I think that's important. You gotta have a man who shows he's got some strength. He's got some, you know, money. Goals. Yeah, money. Money is the key word. If you don't have money and you don't have a job, don't ask a girl out on a date. So how do you feel about those flowers? You know, some guys, they come over with the flowers. See, I personally don't like flowers because flowers die. So moving on, we're going to talk about movie reviews now. And uh, we're actually, we're, we're going to talk about romantic movies um, The Notebook. The Notebook. This is... Um, Probably the most romantic movie I've seen since a long time. Maybe you could go to a romantic movie, but you gotta be prepared because, you know, she might start crying and then, then what's gonna happen? She starts crying, that, that is your key. If she starts crying, that's when you go, oh, oh. like this, see? And you, you, you bring her closer to you, you understand? That might be good, yeah, yeah that yeah. might work. Yes, but only if she's crying, not if she's like very scared. Um, being scared in a romantic movie is not a good sign because maybe that means that maybe you're drooling or you are doing something in response to the movie that she is watching. Um, drooling? Yeah, like, uh, like you could be drooling or maybe you have like a, a stiffy or something. And uh, she, she feels um, anxious. She will feel anxious. You know, when you put your arm around her, make sure you don't grab boobs, because that's not good. She doesn't like that. No, no, un unless, of course, you're, you're dealing with, um, you know, some trash or something, then she will definitely expect um, a little bit of rubbing up against her. Uh, kind of like me, maybe. Her breast uh, area. The notebook, you will definitely get points with the ladies. If you watch the notebook, because, and this is the key here, because it is so romantic, the women will be... Overwhelmed? Well, yes. I would say that if they already like you, they will be turned on, number one. If you watch the movie with them, they will be impressed with you. If you act bored... That's a no-no. So you cannot act bored. This movie has some really dynamic scenes. And I'm talking about wild, crazy scenes. You know, the men throwing the woman up against the wall and kissing and 
really kissing hard and mm. things like that. And that's something that... That's, yeah, good stuff. Yes, yes. It's something that we as women always fantasize about, you know, having a man throw us up against the wall and... Um, yeah, kind of like when they're a little bit rough, you know. Yeah. And, but there must be passion and throwing a woman up against a wall... Um, and having your, no, your you don't break your neck or nothing. Yeah, of course not. No, don't in, hurt. In such a way, in such a way where it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, in such a way where it's exciting and um, and very aggressively erotic. That's something that we do like. Would you agree? Yeah, I like a man who's got a little power. You know, he's got some muscle. You know, no wimpy, flimsy guy for me. Right, which is not to say, of course, that you're violent. It's, it's not what we're, what we're meaning. It just means you're passionate. We want a man who's impassioned. So when the time comes, that passion, that magnetism will show through, and it comes through like a, like a freight train. Would you say so? Yeah, yeah. that's a good analogy. Yeah. Now, sex <clears throat> might happen might. on a first date. But don't. Don't expect no. Count yourself lucky if it does, because guaranteed, if you have sex with her, it may never happen again. <laughs> yeah. So it's very, very important you understand this. When you get lucky, and you know, we talked about that already, you know what it's like to get lucky. But when you're in the bed with her, you've got to understand, you've got to please her. You won't go very far if you don't please her. You won't be, she won't see you ever again. Okay, now let's talk about power tools. <laughs> I don't know anything about power tools. I don't either, but you know, it's not good. You want to talk about my muscle, man. Are you talking about women power tools, you mm, mean? No, she didn't. What brand did you use? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Any will do. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to um, set for the record that I do not have any womenly power tools. Don't believe her. She's lying. <laughs> she doesn't believe me, but I promise I don't. I don't know about that, honey. She's crazy. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that's our show for today. Uh, we're glad that you could uh, join us on The Viewpoint. And uh, we hope uh, you liked our show. And that you'll come back next week. Yeah. We hope we're on the air next week. We hope they don't cancel this show, you know? <laughs>